Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful morning here in Lincolnshire. In just over one hour's time, 50 finalists will pass through these hallowed gates and in front of historic Grimsthorpe Castle. It is, of course, the Haggerty UK Festival of the Unexceptional. 1,869 cars are registered, but only 50 managed to battle their way onto the hallowed ground to take part in the Concorde de l'Ordinaire. In this video, we'll take a look around some of the entries and uh, do our top picks. Right, so here it is. It is the Concours de l'Ordinaire. Oh, we've yeah. let Dad loose. Yes. You've got a microphone, we can hear you. So, uh, uh, should we look at all these I've cars? never chosen the winner yet. No, we've not chosen the winner yet. So I didn't think, I didn't think we'd win. <laughs> 50 cars then, as we said in the introduction, uh, picked for the Concours de l'Ordinaire. How are we going to do it? Start at, this, start at this Beamer and work our way around? This what, this what you thought was a Skoda. Did I think that was... Oh, I did think it was a Skoda this morning, yes. So a BMW 316E30 belongs to Anthony Buckley. Look at this. That is beautiful, the chrome on there. Looking stunning, isn't it? Very nice. Let's move on then to this, the Larder Reaver. Enreg, so what's that, 1994? Six. It's 95? It'll tell me on the front. Let's go have a look. Some people will be shouting at us. Look at this red pinstripe. Lada Riva there, 1996. Belongs to Michael well, Dickens. I've with the first two cars I've looked at. The standard's high already. It's good, isn't it, so yeah. far? Very good. Look at that. That is a lovely old thing. Very nice, that. Oh, my goodness. 1978 Ford Cortina. Stephen Ransom. T-Reg. As I say, 1978. That is stunning, isn't it? The vinyl roof. What can you see? What is it you're looking at? Tell us what you're looking at. Shut lines? No, I'm looking to see how much paint it's had done. <laughs> how much paint it had? Full restoration? Well, it's done, isn't it? Well, it's had some done. But... Moving on then to this, the 1998 Fiat Brava. <laughs> this is a nice, honest car. It is. R-Reg, 98. And actually, quite rare now, a Brava. What's it say there? 1.6 automatic, 1998. Started life as a press car. <laughs> it's a good old honest car, that one, isn't it? But look at this. 1982 Toyota Hilux belongs to Mitch Lewis. And, uh, well, you can have a look underneath it if you want. So you don't need to jack me up to go underneath. Core blimey. What did you say? You ain't going to jack this up to work underneath. <laughs> no, you're right, you haven't. You can just crawl underneath yeah, it. Crawl underneath. It is a beautiful thing, this. I love, love, love the decals down the side. They're very proton black nightish a little bit there. Look under there, look, if you want to have a look. Underneath there. Oh. Mm. This is a heavy contender in my opinion. So look at that load bed. Fantastic. It's better than new, isn't it? <laughs> my question is this, has it been used um. as a Hilux? I suppose you can see in the load bed there, it has had some... Uh, it's still, it's still had some serious effort put in, hasn't it? Eh? It's 10 now, out of 10 for effort though, didn't it? Let's have a proper look. That's it, he's underneath it now. It is. We're in trouble now. It is good, dude. Now it's a credit to him, but cracky. That's what I say, you can get onto there and clean it because you ain't going to jack it <laughs> up, are you? Let's move on to this. Are you, are you still looking at me? Well, the, uh, I've got to take the ass off to somebody who can make the effort to make it look good. Take that off, off then. Take <laughs> Sreg 98 Subaru Justy Martin Whaley. Look at this in this beautiful purple colour. Already a winner for me because, well, look at the colour. <laughs> what a fantastic car. Wearing its original. Are the, are the plates right? Plates. Yeah, they look good to me. Sreg KT Green of Bradford. There you are. Uh, also a Sang Yong four wheel drive specialist as well. Let's take a little bit of a look. Oh, that is, that is nice, you know. Look at that in there. 
Milway cars, floor mats. Yeah, I know. I know, I like this a lot. Certainly is a survivor, that, isn't it? In the all-wheel drive. That's a good oldest car, isn't it? Do you know what? That's on my list so far. Let's move on then to this, the Rover 100 Kensington from Dane Smith, 1995, in that lovely red colour. Nice, honest car. Are you still looking at that, Justin? I, yeah, I'm, I think it might be a winner. I think it might be a winner. But obviously I've not looked at everything else yet so far. Nice, lovely interior. <laughs> what do you reckon? Standards. The standards good, isn't it? Yeah. Lots and lots and lots of beautiful cars here. Standards good this year, mate. 1993 Fiat Panda Damien Brannigan. This is a lovely old thing, isn't it? And actually, well, yeah. unrestored and original paint, 30,000 miles from new, the CLX model. What do you reckon to that? That's got to be a contender, in my opinion. Do you reckon? Yeah, good honest car, mate, isn't it? Shall we have a look inside? Dun, 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 dun. Look at that, look at that interior. <laughs> look at that. It depends what the judge's criteria are, but it's... Well, that's the thing. For um, whatever reason. It's only original once, isn't it? That's true, yes. Yeah, For whatever reason, they let a little old Peugeot at Proton win. It's only original Four once. years ago. 1986 Toyota Carina Andrew Sutton. This is lovely. It really have is. A, have a look at the old interior on it. Ah, velour interior, please, sir. Now, look at that. What do you think to that? I'm going to have. I'm going to stick my head in and have a sniff. Oh, do that. <laughs> that smells beautiful. You can smell the plastic, you can smell the velour. Sunshine roof. I'm not seeing any rust around there. Good no. news. Ah, Pinewood Motors. What a lovely thing. Nice. Standard's good this year, it, though, You keep it? saying that. I know. R-Edge, Renault Clio Grande. Oh, this is nice. These are fast disappearing. Yeah, mate, you don't see so many of these now. This car was my nanny and granddad's car up until very recently. Ah. There we go. Nanny's first car bought in May 1998. Yeah, 1998. Lovely, some good standard there. That belongs to Amy Jane, 1998. I Granny wanted them on. <laughs> I love that. Ah, oh, we saw this coming in, the party bus, the 1998 Lancia Zeta. Wow, I'm going to have to have a poke around that as well, aren't I? Let's have a look in there. Yes. Wow. Captain's chair swivelling. This is nice, isn't it? So they did have this full of the gents coming in. There was, well, well, how many was there? Two, four, five, six, seven people in here on the way in. They're having a great time in the, in the party bus. It's better than a Renault Espace, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? Plenty of room in the back, look. Better can, than a Renault Espace, did you say? You can get all your colleagues in the back going to the pack house. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, we can, we can be cutting collies by, by morning. Uh, we passed this one on the way in, a, a P-Reg Renault Clio. These are fast disappearing off our roads as well. Go Wests for Renault, love that. Cambridge, um, a beautiful shiny, shiny white paintwork. Auto lock in there as well. Let's have a look under this bonnet then. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Fantastic. 1998 belongs to Glyn Jones. It's a Clio Oasis. I wonder what made it the Oasis model. <laughs> I don't know, they used to sell them like that for some reason. <laughs> See these? What are you going to show me? Oh, here we go, here's a peak top things. tip. They're all us packing up. What's that? Coil packs. Oh we're yeah, always, that's a funny old thing. We're always fitting coil packs to these. 
So you were working on these in the main dealer? This mate. Aha. We've moved on. Let's move on to this, which is a 1990 Vauxhall Nova Saloon. Belongs to Neville Wright. Hey, look at that. It has got Nev's personalised number plate on there. <laughs> Lovely oh. paintwork, isn't it? Yes, it's been done like that. It's rare to find a Nova these days, isn't it? They've all been raced, haven't they? They've all been ruined. Yeah. Yes, it's rare to find a Nova. Now, I've got some high hopes for this Volvo because it is in the winning position. <laughs> this is where the Proton Black Knight was uh, all those years ago, back in uh, 2021. 1974 Volvo 145. Graham Silverton, this one. Yeah. The owners of Volvo Specialist. Ah, that, that's handy. Is it? Let's have a look in the boot. See what we can see in here. Have a look. Ah, picnic. Poke in the interior as well. Let's have a look at this. You've got a lot of room under there to work on it, haven't you? Yeah. That's, how, that's how cars used to be. Our <laughs> oh, dad's doing his favourite, which is door shut inspection. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <about that. laughs> You're looking at people's door shuts. No, Get your okay. nose out people's door shuts. <laughs> door shuts are important. <laughs> Uh, door shuts. You can look into the soul of the car with the door shuts. Are you happy with the, with the door shuts? I like to see stuff that hasn't been restored. Really. Yeah, I understand. I understand that. Has that been in yeah, restored? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to this, which I think is a beautiful thing. Uh, a 1994 Vauxhall Corsa LS. We heard this on the way in, and uh, it sounded well. It sounded lovely, didn't it? Are we thinking original Vauxhall paint? Well, I'm not sure, mate, not yet. Soon find out. Ah, uh, so, it's, no, it's been, it's had some TLC. It's in a full respray, because it's, it went pink. That's why it looks so good. There's a bit of micro blistering on the bonnet, I'm afraid, but it can't be helped. Nice. It's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's have a look at this. 1996 Fiat Punto belongs to James Gillard. What do you reckon to that? Oh, this is somebody's daily. This is, dude. I beg your pardon. This is somebody's daily. Do you it's reckon? Got, yes. It's oh, it's got. Yeah, it's got a residence parking yeah. permit. Yeah. It, Fantastic. It, it's got the moss growing in the window rubbers like oh, my this and oh, that. It has. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> it does well for a car that lives outside, doesn't it? Excellent. Thank you it's lovely. It certainly does. It certainly does indeed. It, it, deserve, it deserves to do well, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Is it your daily driver? This is my Pinto. I drove this to the shops, to wherever I need to go. Excellent. Um, I inherited it three, two, three years ago uh, from my grandma, and yeah, as you've seen, uh, CBT automatic yeah. edition. Yeah. Nice, nice. We were just discussing the fact that it's uh, for a car that is a daily and probably lives outside. Uh, it does now. When my grandma owned it, it was in a garage, but it, it's parked on the street now. It's fared so well. Thanks for coming. Good no luck. Worries. Thank you. Have Cheers. a lovely day. Vauxhall Nova 1984, Jack uh, Sidi or Sidi. Uh, let's take a look at this. Oh, look at this interior. Take a look at that. Lovely checkerboard. It's of the time, mate. Orange interior. It is of the time. Yeah, yeah it's an eight track. Oh, I thought it was an eight track in there. It's not. Yeah, it's yeah, a an eight push button too. radio. Is it not? Another Nova. Daihatsu Sherrard CX E-Reg Hillview Motors. Now, I'm not sure if this is the Daihatsu Sherrard that appeared a few years ago here at the Festival of the Unexception. We'll have a, we'll have a look. Sure. Let's take a look at the front. Uh, do you remember that one? I think it was a couple of years ago. Uh, I think it's been here before, potentially. Belongs to Grant Kelso, 1987. It's in this lovely bluey grey colour. Uh, carb with distributor and point system. Wow. The only CX Auto still on the road. Nice. That's a nice little thing. It is. That deserves to do well, I think. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, in my, with, with my criteria. Yeah. 1987 Nissan Laurel belongs to David Williams. Just tell me about your criteria, though. So you've just said that deserves to do well. 
What's your What's your judging criteria for doing the Pete Coupland Concours de l'Ordinaire? It's as it was when the little old lady was going to the shops in it. Yep. That's what I, I like. understand. Not I, been restored. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I admire anybody that restores them like new, but it's nice to see one that's just as it was. Come out the garage. <laughs> Should we take a look at this laurel? It's lovely, isn't it? But uh, uh, window wipers. It's not ordinary, though, is it? Headlight wipers. It's not ordinary, special. is it? It's not ordinary. No, it's quite it's lovely, exceptional, it's isn't it? Uh, are we? You're not having a good old look around that now. No. No. <laughs> Shall we move on to this bluebird? I've picked my winner. You've picked your winner. Oh crikey! Let's have a look. So this one belongs to Ricky Rawl, 1987 Nissan Bluebird. I do like a Nissan Bluebird. I do like a Nissan Bluebird as well. Uh, my friend James has got one here. Uh, and, uh, well, I think he deserves to win this year. That's what I'm saying. They're judging at the moment. Ju we'll get out the way of the judges. Yeah. Let's have a look around here. Oh, a Hugo. Hugo Zastava. Hugo 45, 1988, Alan, Alan Symes. And judges just said, don't think that's what John's dad says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they are judging at the moment, so uh, they're saying, don't take any notice of, of, what, of what Pete Cooper's saying, he's talking a load of nonsense. <laughs> Get me in that Hugo. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at this. Oh. Okay, Alan, Alan Symes. Bet that'd be hard to find Alan parts Stella. for that, John. Sorry? Bet it'd be hard to find parts Alan. for that. Yeah. I love my Yugo. <laughs> wow. You've missed one. Well, the Triumph Acclaim. Yeah. What do you think to the Triumph Acclaim? It's amazing that it's even survived, because <laughs> for some reason they didn't. It's a survivor, isn't it? Shall we look at this larder? I do, I like a larder. Let's go have a look at a larder. Engine bay When camp. I worked at the Peugeot garage, it yeah. was a really bad winter. Yeah. And the only thing that would start to go and jump everything else off was the larder. It was the larder. The forecourt. Yeah. So this is a larder, 2102 Estate 1976. Belongs to Pete Marshall. Oh, I love the number plate, Payer. I like that. Larder chat, some larder stuff going yeah. on here. Oh, because they're, they're struggling. They did have en a noisy engine problem. Oh, there you go. 1990 Ford Escort belongs to Andy Curtis. Lovely white colour. This is beautiful. Let's take a look in there. Oh, look at that. Ah, what we got now? 17, and now 18. I wonder what's on the Now 18 album. <laughs> Original uh, bill of sale. How much was the car? 9,087. That's a lot of money back well, in... I thought so. Back in 1990. It's because it's from Surrey they charge more down there. <laughs> <laughs> the, more, the more expensive in the Surrey. <laughs> H Reg Fiesta Bonus belongs to, I think, the team at the Wheels and Steels YouTube channel. Yeah. This is nice, isn't it? It is, mate. Very this nice. This is very indeed. nice. Have a look in there. This looks like original paint, is it? I believe so. I inherited this car from my late uncle. We always spoke about him taking his Fiesta to shows, and I promised to him and I would do that keeping his memories and wishes true that's oh, nice for him. lovely yeah I like, I like the sentiment there mate. belongs to Warren Grove 1994 yeah. Fiesta that's in its original condition isn't it I've lost dad now I've been talking to uh, Warren with his uh, Ford Fiesta great story he's having a look at the 1998 Ford KA, it belongs to Joel Willis, and I know that Joel is a massive Ford KA fan. I know, he's got six of them, is he? he yeah, he's a, he's a big fan of these. Uh, he's got quite a few. Let's have a, have a look in here. I'm gonna be really cheeky and poke that in there. There we go. Have a look in there. That's great. 
Excellent. No, that's a good old, that's a good survivor. Old, that's a good honest car, that one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'm sorry, I've got the uh, promise to clean. <laughs> Corsa, this one. Ed, oh, Ed the Duck as well, winner, winner. Uh, it's a Corsa Merit, let's take a look in there. <laughs> look at them rainbow seats, they're fantastic. Oh, and blue Nokia on the uh, on the dashboard, winner, winner. This one belongs to John Corbett, 1993, Vauxhall Corsa Merit. Has it got a thumbs up from Dad? I don't know. Oh no, no thumbs up. This one, Chris Williams. I think this is his third time in the Festival of the Unexceptional Congos de Lordenaire Arena. Don't know what he's doing. He must be bribing the uh, bribing the judges with some really nice biscuits. This one is a Twingo van. Uh, I think he's just recently got this one. I believe. Let's take a look inside. Have a look. Of course. It is going to be a left-hand drive vehicle, manual, original Blaupunkt Twingo cassette, and he's even got ABBA Gold in there. Is that period correct? I don't know, Chris. I'm not sure about that. Music expert. Not sure. Um, look at the load space in here. Fantastic. See, Twingo van. <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, like, what, what, you, what is that for del delivering your croissants with? Yeah, uh, bakery, the boulangerie. Le boulangerie. Oh, really? French with peat. Oh, look at the, the beads. Ah, yeah, oh, beaded, no. beaded seat cushions. It ought to be a bloody nice oh, look at this. Living for music, the Fisher one pound coin holder. I love that. I That's just, cool. Just in line with the beads. We ought to have a, a Mazda or something. It babs his cabs on. <laughs> babs cabs. 1991 Nissan Primeria belongs to Luca Alpert. What a lovely, lovely vehicle, that. What a uh, great, great thing. James Green with his 1989 Nissan Bluebird. This is my show winner for 2024. How are you doing? Very well. I've very always well. felt guilty. So now you're here again yeah. in the uh, Concourse de Lordenet Arena. Um, Lots of hard work and effort has gone into this, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, for me, it's just about looking after the car, trying to, you know, make sure it's, uh, you know, getting the attention it deserves. Good. Um, Keep up so, the good work, mate. Yeah, just make sure I maintain it. Yeah. Just enjoy it. Yeah, that's the main thing, isn't it? Because you drive it as well, don't you? You know, it isn't just a show show queen and a garage queen. You do, yeah. you do drive it. Have you been judged yet? Not yet. No. Not yet. Bribe them biscuits, fifty around. pound notes. <laughs> good to see you, James. Let's have a look in here. It is a lovely polished car. It is a lovely, lovely thing, this. And of course, Wham! is in the cassette deck. I'm which, pleased we've got a beaded seat cover. Uh, yeah, beaded seat cover. Babs this. cabs. Uh, oh, look, at, look at the quality of the, the, the floor mats in there that James has cleaned up. I think the, the good thing is these, is they've got the plastic door. You don't suffer with that blinking velour peel that no. everything else does. No, I, I respect the effort that James puts in on this. He is as fastidious with his Bluebird as I am with my Black Knight. And uh, I think that's brilliant. In fact, yeah, he's, he's more fastidious, isn't he? Yeah, good you're... stuff. Very good stuff. We've nearly been round this uh, yeah, first bit. Let's some more, have a, some odds and sods across the top of the house. Oh, right, okay. Oh, we've got to have a look at them. Uh, there is a Peugeot here now, 1992, belongs to Meru Richardson and George Strickland, 106 uh, J4575 EAL. I love that and I love the Peugeot in the dash. Now, I've got to ask you something. When I was at the Peugeot uh, dealership the other week, apparently the lion, or the tiger, whatever it is, has got a name. Is it? I don't know the name, do you no, know No, I name? don't. No, there we go. As long as we didn't know if we do. If, comment down below if you know the name of the, of the Peugeot mascot. This is great, isn't it? 106XM. This is honest, isn't it? Lovely little honest car. You must be a lot of... There's a shark in here. Not like it. Right, let's move on. 1990 Peugeot. 309 style belongs to Brent Markham. Well, I've lost Dad again. He's uh, headed off. We've got a 1993 Rover 418 belongs to David Poulter. What do you reckon to that? Are you looking at shut lines again? Oh, it's getting the thumbs up. Nice. Rover um, press photograph there as well. Fantastic. Uh, we've got factory sunroof. 
lovely. Factory rear speakers, fantastic. Wait, your car's got a massive Turbo. <laughs> so, what do you think? I went outside. Lost him, he's gone again. What have you spotted? You know what you are? You're, the, you're that person that everyone... And actually, we're back to the beginning, aren't we? It's just, so we've got the middle to do now, and then we've got some little bits to do. Let's go have a look in the middle. 1986 Peugeot 309 GL belongs to Carl Fravigar. There it is. Have a quick look in there. There it is. 1997 Deu Lanos belongs to Christopher Lloyd. No, not that one. Great Scott Christopher Lloyd. At least I don't think it is. Uh, oh, Reg, I love the, the Deu number plate. In fact, one of the protons I've recently picked up has got the Deu import centre number plates on. I've got absolutely no idea why, but, well, it has. Anyway, this is a lovely old rare beast. Lovely, honest thing. Is this yours? Come and talk to me about your Deu. Yeah, well, welcome to Ethel. So Ethel. Ethel is, uh, was uh, ejected from London, Bolton on Thames in January. Oh, uh, don't first tell owners. me. You, Les? Absolutely. Oh, so, no. Yeah. So, yeah, so so her original owners had to get rid of her, so I took her on. Um, exactly original standards, so the same owner from you, had full history. She's done only 45,000 miles. I've had to do very little other than get a new front grill. Okay, um, yeah. And had to bring in a hubcap from uh, a scrapyard in Berlin. Nice. So only available. So, yeah, but, yeah, as you see, completely original. Excellent. Keep fit windows. Good luck. Thank you. No Good worries. Media. Media. Yeah. Keep, keep saving them. Lovely rare beast. Thank you. What do you reckon? It's Ethel. Lovely. It's nice, <laughs> Lovely thing. Minimal effort on there. New grill and that's about it. And a hubcap from Berlin. Some red paint on the boot lid. Hmm? And some paint on the boot lid. Yeah, I think there's some paint uh, been, been, been had. But <laughs> 190E. G-Reg. Uh, did you see a 190E recently in our uh, no, local area? <laughs> If you follow me on the old Twitter, you'll know that we uh, recently had a 190E and then, well, we didn't have a 190E. It went, uh, it went away very quickly. Uh, lovely checkerboard interior on there. I love these grill, little grill fins as well, because they all normally tend to break. So that's in lovely condition. 1990, belongs to Simon Monks. Fantastic. That's walked away because we've, we've traumatized him with the 190E that we had uh, a couple of months ago. What's next? These here, right? That's We've it, got an it. Alfa Romeo 145 1.6. We've got a lovely, is it Apple Green Mini Metro? And then uh, something else which I can't really see. Let's have a quick look. Oh, let's have a look in here then. Hmm. That, uh, that lovely velour and leather mix. 1994 then, Alfa Romeo 145 1.6 Boxer Lee Davis. That engine bay is clean it's nice mate isn't it look at that fantastic you a fan no i'm all a fan of this <laughs> colin corks 1981 austin mini metro in apple jack green that is clean under there isn't it it's been a lot of love given to that it's had it? a had a lot of tlc hasn't it don't a seem to recall their gold master cylinders when I was working on them. No, I think, <laughs> I think they've sort of anodised the gold. I think the master color. cylinder has had a little bit of uh, the love. a little bit of TLC. It is look at the, uh, but look at the white clean there. seats, John. 19,000 miles on the clock. The white, easy clean seats. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm absolutely happy. But I, I could see you. So Super. Lovely. Lovely, lovely thing. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Right, Robin, lovely LX. Thing. Plastic pig. You can't say that. I can say that. That's what Mrs. John Cooton calls. That's the only car that she can recognise is a uh, reliant Robin. I'm sorry I called it a plastic pig. I'm really sorry. I called it a pig. It's my pig. Beautiful. Daniel Pace's 1994 reliant Robin. What an absolute credit. Excellent. I do... I I, something, I think they should all be saved there. What, Reliant Robin? Yeah. I, just, I thought he was going to say they should all be squished. No, they should I was all going, be saved. Oh, hang on a minute, I need to edit that out. They need to be saved. Um, we've got four more cars to look at. Listen, if we don't save them, they're going to be disappearing and just people talk about them. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know yeah. What I mean? yeah, remember that time. 
Let's have a look then at the last four. Have you picked your winner so far, by the way? What is it? No, don't tell me. Tell me in a minute. Um, let's have a look at these cars on the front again first. Right. Let's have a look at these. First and foremost. Right, 1975. <laughs> Triumph Toledo belongs to Andrew Burford. This is a lovely thing. I love the bargain low mileage dealer stickers in there. Stop, lo stop looking at the Daihatsu. <laughs> <laughs> Come and have a look at uh, Andrew's Toledo. What do you think to that? It's lovely. It's l no, hang on a minute. Do the catchphrase. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> this is a lovely thing, isn't See, it? See, look, this has got original paint on it, the good, the writings. <laughs> Certainly is a stunner. Yeah. Let's have a shufty in there. Oh, now, now I've got another. Oh, another now we've got, period, we've got period correcting accessories in there, look. I've got another one in my top 10. Is it? Top 10? Mm. <laughs> wow, are we, doing, are we doing top 10, are we? No. I thought we were doing top, top three. The problem is, Dad likes to, you like to move along quite quickly. Right, let's have a quick look at this. This is lovely, isn't it? Let's have a look at that. Wow. Blimey. What a stunning thing that is. You don't see many of them. Catherine Bird's 1992 Ford Fiesta Freestyle 1.4. Not sold? No, fair enough. I'm not a fan of the blue oval. Everyone's crowding around Lewis Dickinson's 1983 Citroen Visa. That is because, well, it's being judged at the moment. Sam's here, we'll wave to Sam and John as well. They're all having a good old chat with the owner. Whilst they're doing that, we'll take a look at the engine bay. Super duper. And have a look, oh, look at this velour. Velour. It's lovely. That interior there is certainly something to behold, that single spoke steering wheel. The Citroen Tat on the... Uh, Tough coat dinner troll. Yeah. Let's have a look at it. Look at this, this is like a spaceship in here. How do you fly that? Excellent. Have you seen the uh, steering wheel and the controls? What's it, yeah, what's the mileage on it? Oh, I don't know, let's have a look. Uh, it says, four, I think it says 4,100, unless I'm reading it wrong. Well, that's what it says. What do you reckon? Well, it's got 3,801 on 1984. <laughs> it's been sat, hasn't it, and been restored and, or recommissioned. No, it hasn't been restored. Right, I've got my top three. Nice original. Right, hang on a minute, we've got one last, one last one to look at. And then we will do our top three. It's the 1980 Datsun 280C estate that goes to Leif Hansen. It's for sale if you want it, it's 12 grand. Can I... Doesn't fit the criteria. <laughs> no, doesn't fit the Pete Coopman criteria, no. It is a lovely old thing though. It's gorgeous. Well, let's come over here then. And we'll not do the, all exceptional, is we'll it? We'll do the top three. Yep, top three. In at number three. I knew. I've forgot. Take your now. time. I only know me bet. I only know me top two. Okay, in at number two. Yeah. Yeah, here is. That one. The the Citroen. Yeah. Yeah. The original Citroen with the yeah. spaceship wheels. Yeah. Okay, my number two today is. It's got to be the Justy, the purple Justy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because that is a lovely original yeah. survivor. Find me another one. Yeah. In at number one. A Daihatsu. Really? Yeah? We'll uh, have another look at that Daihatsu then, because you keep getting drawn to it. I do, I think it's gorgeous. Um, my like number it. one has got to be James's Bluebird. It has right. to be. Why? Well, because I still feel guilty for, for, for beating him uh, back in 2021. He's back at the Concourse de l'Ordinaire, and I think he deserves to win with that. Let's take a look then at your number one, the Daihatsu. What is the reason for that being number one today? It's just so honest. 
An honest little vehicle. Yeah. There it is then. Dad's top pick. 1987 uh, Daihatsu Sherrard belongs to Grant Kelso. <laughs> Talk us through it. It's just so honest, mate, isn't it? It's just as it was found. It's not been restored, it's not been made better than it was when it was new. Yep. But it's just, like you said, as the old lady as pulled as it. I can see, if you've got a classic car, it wants to be like it was when it left the factory. Yeah. If it's better than it was when it left the factory, it's a custom car, isn't it? Do you think so? Yeah. So in that sense then, the Proton Black Knight, hang on a minute, it's been no, tarted it's, up. Is it better than no, new? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, like that truck over there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's as clean underneath as it is at the top. Yeah. Didn't leave the factory like that, no. did it? I, okay, yeah, It's I a agree. custom car, isn't it? So your <sighs> top pick is this one? Yeah. Fine. That's it then. That's my so, criteria for good. Like good honest cars. I've enjoyed having a wonder. I don't get the... it wrong. I, I enjoy to. I'm, I'm really impressed with that something like that truck. The truck, but yeah. it doesn't fit this criteria. No. Okay. Fair enough. If it was in a car show for cars that have been done up really nice, yeah. You know. Yes. Good. That's it then. Top pick from <coughs> the Festival of the Unexceptional 2024 from Dad is the e reg Daihatsu Sherrard. So it's time to announce the winner. Danny Hopkins is on stage. Exceptional. He's giving okay, someone. <laughs> he's giving someone I mean, some grief about the, their uh, last one Audi TT. I'll tell you this: there was a McLaren parked right there. What I, could be I, the winner? So we had a really big discussion about uh, who was going to win this year. Who's going to win the 10th anniversary Festival of the Unexceptional? You tend to find that these are the cars that, when they were new, they were bought because. You, you couldn't afford anything better, let's be honest. <laughs> or they were bought because they were fit for purpose. They were machine tooled to do a job. And this car is machine tooled to do a job. It's vastly unexceptional because every builder had one. But this one is like none, we, have, we haven't seen one like this for 30 years. We thought it was obviously a, a, a checkbook restoration because it's perfect. There was a mirror slid underneath yeah. the front so you could see the chassis. It was all factory style paint. We thought this guy's had it been sprayed, he's thrown thousands at it. So when he told us he'd just cleaned it and that it had got 20,000 miles on the clock and that it spent its life on a fruit farm and that the only dents in it, in the back of it, were from where the strawberry planets had been loaded. We all had to take a step back and get control of ourselves because we were a bit excited. This is a remarkable vehicle, possibly the most remarkable vehicle I've ever seen at the Festival of the Unexceptional, and it's pretty much a unanimous decision by the judges to award the first prize in the 2024 Festival of the Unexceptional to Mitch Lewis and his 1982 Toyota Hilux. Up he comes. I think they all get an award just for getting onto the stage, to be honest. That's fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Lewis. There we go then, the winner of the Festival of the Unexceptional. It was. 2024 it was, it was, it shocked was, us all. It was exceptionally unexceptional. Yeah, it was the Toyota Hilux. And actually, in our video of the Concourse walk around, we thought it had been restored. And no, it hasn't. it's proved us wrong. It has not been restored. No, it's, it was spectacular. Yeah, spectacular. We're on a fruit farm. I thought it had been restored. You thought it had been restored. Yeah. I think a lot of people I'd spoke so to as basically, well. Basically, he didn't use it very thought much. Thought it had on been the fruit restored, farm. but hadn't been used no, on the fruit farm. Not. Well done, that man. So we're on the way home then after Absolutely the festival. Amazing. 2020 at four. A just winner of the concourse, do you reckon? It all depends. They like the story behind it. Yes, yeah. story's good, car's yeah. good, rarity's good. Yeah, two, two, right. There you go. Now we know. Winner, winner. Fruit farm dinner. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Comment down below if we've seen your vehicle and we had a look around it. What was your favourite? What would be your top three? 
Um, if you have enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. Haven't already subscribed, please do. Yeah, thumbs up from Dad. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching from the Festival of the Unexceptional 2024 and the Concours de l'Ordinaire. More videos on the way. Goodbye. Give us a wave, please. Thank you. Don't do waving. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.